I mean, okay, I guess it's dead. Yay? What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scaletree, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Pikmin 4. You know, I was going to stop recording after the last episode because I was just like, oh, you know, Serene Shores, we have it unlocked. It'll be something really exciting to look forward to next time. But I'm honestly just way too pumped and I have to continue. I'm so excited. I can, I can barely keep myself contained right now. My impulse is to, like, record the entirety of this today. And while I know that's not going to happen, because, like, <clears throat> I mean, I have... I have things to do. I have a life. <laughs> I really just desperately want to get out one or two more episodes. We're going to see how much I've got the stamina for. Whew. For now, though, I don't want to dilly-dally. I want to jump straight in to Serene Shores. If you're ever curious about something, please feel free to ask me about it. I would be honored to assist you in any way I can. Omar, buddy... Buddy, <laughs> she needs your feedback for the love square mainly, but <clears throat> a little bit more mission important is probably the tale. So let's go over that first, shall we? <laughs> so there I was. An ideal way to talk about it. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. I love that he has moss over there. I like seeing that we could theoretically go back all the way if we want to undo our progress. Now, I definitely don't, personally. Like, I know that we're not having, like, a flawless run or anything. I did not manage to get the yellow onion from Blossoming Arcadia, which, you know, is kind of a bummer. But I do have all the ship parts from there, which I think is what really counts. As far as I'm concerned... That's 100%ing this place, because we've got a time limit, and I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> so, Serene Shores. We're going to return to where it all began for this Let's Play. And, uh, you know, that this whole thing has been filling me with a soft sense of nostalgia, but this especially. Because... This is the first Let's Play I've ever done. At least ever done seriously. And it's been an absolute treat, a pleasure to record these videos and to see so many people want to join me for my journey. So it's going to be good coming back here after so long. Before I do, though, I have a question of the day for all of you guys. It's extremely random. The last couple episodes have had sort of a cohesive theme. It all had to do with Pikmin 1. <laughs> but do you guys like donuts? <laughs> and if you do, what's your favorite flavor? Asking because there's a lot of cursed flavors happening at <laughs> my local donut shop right now in honor of Valentine's Day, which, uh, you know, maybe I'll talk about more some other time, but let's just say that Cupid's choice being cream-filled was certainly something. Okay, now that I've embarrassed myself, how about I distract you guys with some cool artwork today before we get into the meat of things and explore Serene Shores for the first time. As Olimar, of course. Uh, you guys saw me explore it for the first time, first time long ago. We've got two pieces today, the first of which is by Real Arthur DR. 
It's inspired by the allegations that I am, in fact, an eldritch goddess. And would you just look at how awesome this is? It has this extremely mystical vibe to it. I love the way my horns kind of curl up on themselves, the way there's an eye in the middle of the tree sprouting above me, the swirly lines that look like they have stars, the patterns of my fur, my tail, the little wisps of smoke coming off of it, and of course, my eerie glowing white eyes. <laughs> this looks incredible. Thank you so much, dude. Like, this is an extremely creative idea for a piece, and I just love it. We also have a new piece by Scarlet101. I believe this one is inspired by my comments back in episode 22, where I described that the upcoming long-term detour into Olimar's shipwreck tale was less the Kip Kip show and more the Olimar experience, and... <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I am always happy to see my man smiling. He deserves it. He deserves the sparkles and the little flowers and the bajillion microphones. Oh my god. But also, Kip Kip's salt here is immaculate. Look at her just blasé, grumpy expression and her little ear twitching. It's so funny. <laughs> it completely suits what we know of her character so far. I'm just absolutely delighted by the expression and posing, as always. And this is a fun variant on a popular meme. So thank you, Scarlet, for giving me the opportunity to share this as well. It just delighted me viscerally. Anyway, I believe that's all the fan art we have for now, so without further ado, I'm going to cut back to Gaming Scale Tree, so you guys can enjoy some Serene Shores action. Anyway! Serene Shores! Oh, it's just as beautiful as I remember. I seem to have stumbled across this planet's sea, or one of them. But where are the waves? It's so peaceful. I'll call this place Serene Shores. It will take a while to explore the area with all this water. I'll need a proper strategy to find all my ship parts. Oh, well, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. A. We need a lot of blue Pikmin here, so I'm gonna go with 30 to start. 15 yellows. And then 15 reds. Not a super even distribution, but I think that that is very solid for what I want to go for today. Wow, moss bites really hard. <laughs> That's reassuring to see. Also, frick, I didn't realize that there were breakable parts or breakable pieces back there. Anyway, I'm gonna send the reds and yellows to work on this for a minute. Breakable pieces, what am I talking about? The vase. The vase. I swear I know what I'm saying at all points. I'm extremely professional. What, what was that? Moss has gotten herself into a scuffle. Who died? Hello? Was, was there an enemy I wasn't aware of? I guess so. Well, that sucks. But at least this is done. At least that's taken care of. Just eviscerate this thing. And... Absolutely annihilate this wall. Wait. Who? Where? What? Huh? Oh. It's you. A Pikmin's met its end. Hmm. Wow, I'm playing really fast and loose today. That's okay, though. You know what? It could be a lot worse than what's going on right now. Let's go ahead and just get this destroyed real quick. And with yellow Pikmin, we can get this situated. Oh! Okay, so there's... A master hop over there, as well as a ship part. That's reassuring to see. I think I want to go back here first, get some blue Pikmin to grab that, and then maybe come back around over here. <gasps> Sorry. 
I'm listening really closely, because I could have sworn I heard, like, the distant spring in the background. God, this is so beautiful. What in the world? I mean, I knew it was beautiful. <laughs> I've been calling this place beautiful the whole time. But... I'm... so excited. <laughs> There's a reason I'm going absolutely ham with these recordings today. Flarlick, perfect. Apparently there's going to be, like, a bajillion of these to collect here. And that makes sense, because... We need to be able to have 100 Pikmin by the time we go to Hero's Hideaway. Because that way we can get all the way back where we began with the tutorial. I mean, I know that's a strong we, but still. Let's see. Moss, can you swim? Okay, good. <laughs> I'm glad she can swim, otherwise that could have been very awkward. Alright, very good, very good, very good. Is this where the park was? It wasn't, I just did this for no reason. Awesome, we love to see that. <laughs> Screw these fish in particular, apparently. Another ship park, this gives me hope. Go long, little buddies. You shouldn't have any issues getting back there like this. That's a Cromed. I, I, I saw it just before I saw it, if that... What the f*** are you? Um... Well, I don't like that. It's not carrying a ship part. But... Wait, where's everybody? <laughs> they're, th <laughs> they're all the way back here. Good god. This is- this is very disorganized. Okay, what am I doing? I did see a part over here, and I do want to take care of that. I think what I want to do... is... trade out my yellows for now for more red Pikmin. So that I can better fight the Master Hop. And meanwhile, I'm going to have my blue Pikmin gather up some corpses. Because I want to make sure that I have enough numbers to basically have a full squad of blues. Yeah. Like that. There we go. Send more of you guys back. Yeah, like that. And now, I guess we're gonna try fighting this thing properly. Okay, come on everybody. Well, still a very underwhelming boss, I must say. Ah, and I almost forgot about the area gimmick, like an idiot. <laughs> Good to see the tides fall. So let's get off of Moss and grab that. Grab these. Perfect. We love to see more spicy sprays. I should- I really should be using those more. This part's not too worse for wear. Excellent. Okay, good, 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 good. I've met my minimum victory condition for today, which is to take care of getting at least two ship parts. That is quite reassuring. Meanwhile... Oh no. Come on. Come on, buddy. Do I think I can take you like this? No. Am I gonna try? Absolutely. And today I learned that you can have X on holds like that. <laughs> and switch while you're aiming to charge. That's kind of cool, to be honest. Okay. 
I'm close enough that I can just go back here to make sure I get all my Pikmin. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. I have a single red that's <laughs> somewhere he shouldn't be, so I'm just gonna summon him back here. Will make my life a little bit easier. I know he's not gonna be in my party this way, but I'd rather that than, yeah. You know. There we go. And now that that thing is no longer in water, <gasps> you know what? I can grab my yellow Pikmin. Oh, okay, here, let's see, let's see. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> Come on, A. There we go. And we're going to put away our blues, pull out as many yellows as possible, and then a couple of blues to carry back any corpses or parts. We're going to try fighting this thing. And I'm afraid, personally. Here. Let's get your attention. Ah, uh, yes. All right. So throwing yellows onto its body definitely helps. We definitely need to do something about its head. Okay. It can't eat Pikmin very fast. Is it just holding them in there? Is it like a, a pitcher plant? What is this thing? I vaguely remember seeing it in the voyage log, but... I mean, okay, I guess it's dead. Yay? Did that do anything for me? Anything. Going once. <laughs> Going twice. Oh, 30? Okay. Hmm. Right. Time to go back and get some blues. I think we can grab this part before the day ends. Wow. This has been so stunning. I absolutely love the way they're placing all of these parts throughout these areas. This is... This is incredibly pleasing to me. I don't know what it is. Why did the music stop? Oh, we're in hurry up. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna get that part as... as, um... as fast as I can. And... I don't think we'll be able to get it back in time anymore. But, I can at least start. Okay, I'm going to get off of Moss so I can grab all my babies that are underwater. Finish off this Waddle Puss. And really pile on as many Pikmin here as we can. Yeah, that Pikmin is just dead. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay that I just hear a Pikmin's cry. Yes, but it is what it is. And tomorrow we can grab this. It's closer to base. Phew! That could have been a lot worse. <laughs> okay! Serene Shores. Day one complete. I really feel like these days are going kind of faster than the normal ones in Pikmin 4. Maybe it's just because I haven't played in so long, but I don't know what it is. They're zooming along, guys. They're they're pulling a fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh-oh. Well. <sighs> One Pikmin at sunset. That hurts, but last time, I, you know, I did this whole thing for the Ice Pikmin, but I... I'm... I'm just gonna leave it behind. Sucks, but I think that's how it has to be. 
We've got nine days left, 14 parts, 16 left. I feel like we're doing a good job here. We've got the bomb rock, and we've got more HP on Moss. Perfect. Sometimes I find myself questioning whether I'll ever be able to escape this planet. Then I remember my family is still waiting for me back at home. I would bear any hardship to see them again. Olimar! Baby. Of course you would bear any hardship to see them again. You are the family man ever. It's, it's what makes you so unbelievably endearing, my guy. Do I want to go back to Serene Shores, or do I want to finish Sun Speckled Terrace? You know, I feel like it's been a little too long. I'm going to go back to Sun Speckled Terrace. Let's see how many parts we can pick up there today. If I can somehow manage to finagle all four, that would be sick as hell, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay, here we go. Back in the Sun Speckled Terrace. Oh! And I just noticed that there's a part, like, way over there in the distance. Ha! Huh. Oh. Oh, right. This area doesn't recommend blue picnic. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to ride moss. And actually, actually, you know what? First. First things first. Please. Please, Nectara. Golly. <laughs> hey, it's, I think, um... No, this isn't our first time coming back to this area with Moss, is it? Are you... Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, I guess we can't go up there. That... That's so dumb. <laughs> but... I know if we go around this way, we'll be able to get a lot of stuff done. So... Let's make sure that we get all that stuff done. <laughs> I'm... I th I've definitely been recording too long. I'm no longer talking any sense. My my words are wretched. <laughs> you know, I think we need to fight this guy. Let's fight him. Oh. Come on. All right, Sook. Have I gotten better at aiming too? Maybe I have. I feel like I've improved. <laughs> and I'm impressed that I managed to get that, that thing dead in such a short period of time. Yellows, you can have this one. Oh man. All right. So with that situated, we've got a part right over here that we can now collect way faster with the power of moss. And actually, while we have that in the weeds... Yeah. Oh, yay! Another ship part. And that's either the Sagittarius or the Libra. I can't remember which. Now, do we have anything over here? Just an enemy from the looks of things, but the fact that it's there with nothing else makes me think that it's swallowed apart. That would be my guess. Are we waiting for like... Oh, great. Not good. We're out of raw materials. Oh, crap. Well, that, that sucks. At least there's more up here. So you know what? Let's move it. We have to hustle. We have to hustle, fellas. There's a Mamuda. Do I want to try killing this Mamuda? I probably do, but I also desperately don't, if you know what I mean. Oh, you're gonna be a problem. Yeah. Stop that before it becomes an issue. Uh, I, st I still seriously need to learn how to reuse the, um, the, <laughs> the 
the trumpet. So let's see. Now, yes. All right, perfect. Now that we had those materials again, they got back to work. I didn't know that that was a thing. Love that, though. I think that's quite useful. I'm wondering if perhaps there's more raw materials in those uh, little bits over there. I guess we'll find out momentarily. Okay, fellas. It does have a ship part. Okay, okay, good. I'm glad that I decided to go after this thing. Perfect. Over there, a ship part. Yes, sir. You know it. All right. While they work on that, let's see. Oh, so that makes this one the last. Very nice. Okay. So, I'm gonna head over this way. With everybody. Except for those guys. And we're gonna see what we can do. This is great, though. This means I don't have to kill the Mamuda. <laughs> I'm so happy, because when I went to Blossoming Arcadia for the first time and I had to kill the Mamuda, that, like, broke my heart. High key. Because look at him! He's just chilling there! He's minding his own damn business, you know? All right, everybody. Moss has gotten herself into a scuffle. Moss! Moss, for goodness sake. Okay. At least you're still coming. Okay. I need you for this, girl. This is highly important. And I don't think she has, like, the... The, the, the big chomp. Oh, she does! Ha! Huh. Well, the more you know, I guess. Let's knock this thing out of the sky and make our lives a little bit easier. Perfect. That's everything I could have wanted. Another ship part. This gives me hope. Well, let's go around this way and continue to give you all of that hope, buddy. First of all... This thing has to die. Very good. Alright. Now that Moss is done glitching herself entirely... Um... I guess we can get that. We can have some of these Pikmin start gathering berries. And you know what? Let's move the base over here. I think that'll be easier for everybody. Idle Pikmin 37? Are you serious? Actually, they're waiting over there. But, you know, I want to have as many Pikmin as possible with me. I guess we can just keep going on. We can gather up some raw materials. Or bombs or whatever are in these things. Yeah, this... This Nova Blaster is going to be the last part we need for the entirety of the Sun Speckled Terrace. I'm feeling very good about this, to be honest. Oh, girl. You're such a good girl. <laughs> it's nice to have Moss on my side. Because while she was a bit of a pain, I must admit, in Hero's Hideaway... She is- she is a good girl. She's trying her best to do... something. Whatever it is, I don't know, but I am- I can't be the only one who's excited to see her interacting with Louie, because... If you remember how I reacted to that at the end of my... my mid-series finale... Oh, man. I was completely and utterly beside myself. I was just like, ah, right? <laughs> I was already crying and that just had me wailing, you know? Okay. Well, I suppose while we go through and do all this, uh, how's your day been so far? Goodness knows I'm extremely excited to be recording again officially. It's nice to know that I'm building up a buffer, too. 
because with the new schedule that I have, I'm cautiously optimistic because if I get as lucky as I did when I started the series in terms of like my backlog and my work and such, then I feel like I could have extra time after editing these down and queuing them to work on some of my scripted videos that I've wanted to do for ages now. But... Moss? <laughs> she's, um... I think that's the, that's the second time she's done this during this recording session. Honey, do we need to get Moss some glasses? Or do you think she would be more of a contacts girl if she were a uh, little Pikmin person? Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. She's doing a great job following her nose, but you know. <laughs> oh no. No, I'm not gonna kill the Mamuda for raw materials, Moss. I know that you choose violence on a regular basis, but today is not that day. We are here to be very peaceful. And to look for potentially more little digging spots. Oh, like this one. That's what I was thinking of. I knew there had to be at least one more left. Okay. That feels very good. I like stocking up on these bomb rocks because you never know when you're gonna encounter a stone wall. And those guys can bring back one more set of berries, I think. Is there anything over here that I can dig up while I have them the opportunity? Come on. Um, doesn't really look like it. I know that there was a spot over here in the original, but it looks like it's not there anymore. Well, I feel extremely accomplished for what I've done today as far as the Let's Play has come. Let's quickly use my pack. Come on. Pack. And homesick signal. Let's bring back everybody so that we're all safe. Okay. Cool. Everybody is here in time for sunset. I'm gonna try not to lose any more Pikmin moving forward, but, I mean... <laughs> with the amount of bosses that we've had to face so far... Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I don't think that's happening. It'll be interesting to see how many Pikmin I manage to grow and lose throughout this little side adventure. Okay! Today, oh, we've achieved the Libra, the Ionium Jet, and the Nova Blaster. And with this, we've got the Tough Stuff Plus for Olimar, the Trachinator, and the Lightning Shock. Proper planning is essential in both my day job and in my search for missing parts. Tomorrow, the work continues. I do miss him having, like, bigger, longer logs. Um, for us to read about his family and such, but it's still nice to get these nighttime dialogues. Okay. Well. Let's see. I've been recording for just over half an hour. You know, I'm halfway through. I've got eight days left. I have completed collecting over half of the ship parts, which is wonderful. That's great news. It means that we've got at least a tiny bit of a time buffer. So, I feel like at least for now, I'm going to dip out, feeling very comfortable, feeling very confident. Whenever you want to hear my story, come see me. And I think I'm going to call that the episode for now. I know that this is shorter than most others, especially once I edit it down to remove parts of, like, extended silence or other such things, but for me, personally, anything that's 20 to 40 minutes is a win, time-wise. I just prefer to have them between 30 and 40, like, personally. As I feel like that's a very comfortable length to sit down and 
enjoy hanging out <laughs> with a nice let's play, maybe a snack, who knows, right? But whatever floats your boat whenever it comes down to it. But anyway, next time, I believe it will be prudent to return to Olimar's shipwreck tale. We're gonna keep going and see just how much we can accomplish at Serene Shores so that we can unlock Hero's Hideaway. Until then, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.